Hello everybody, Evan Lazar for CLNS Media coming to you from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, breaking down the top 50 fits in the 2022 NFL Draft for your New England Patriots. You can check out my written version of my Patriots big board on clnsmedia.com, breaking down the prospects one through 50. In these videos, we're gonna go position by position. Here we're gonna discuss offensive linemen, a big need for the Patriots heading into the 2022 draft, both on the interior, you see Shaq Mason, Ted Karras leave the team this offseason, so they have at least one starting guard spot that they have to fill with a new player. Could be a rookie in this draft, could be as early as the first round. We'll get to that in a second. Also at tackle, the Patriots have always stayed one step ahead of that tackle position. Nate Solder fed to Isaiah Wynn. Before that, Matt Light. Matt Light to Solder to Wynn. Really haven't skipped a beat at that left tackle position typically staying one year ahead of the need as well. So if you look at that tackle spot, Isaiah Wynn in the last year of his contract, playing on that fifth year option, his history or his injury history and his inconsistent play certainly leaves his future in doubt with the Patriots. On the other side, Trent Brown, two-year contract this offseason in free agency, signing back with New England, but he's also had some injury issues over the last couple of years, has had trouble staying on the field. So the Patriots could use some insurance for Win and for Brown. Also looking at it from a long-term perspective, tackle certainly is something that could be a big need in 2023 and beyond. So let's start with tackle, go right into the first round. Trevor Penning from Northern Iowa is the first name I think that comes to mind for most people. Six foot seven, over 300 pounds, elite athletic tester at the combine, and nobody finishes blocks as often or with much love as Trevor Penning does. He loves to bury people and he stacks pancake after pancake onto the pile when you watch his tape. It wasn't just good enough for him to win blocks at Northern Iowa. He had to absolutely dominate the competition and he did just that. Finished so many blocks against North Dakota State that I lost track. I think it was close to a dozen clips that I could have piled together of Trevor Penning just dominating and putting people into the ground. He also went down to Mobile at the Senior Bowl and was voted on by the players as the best offensive lineman in Senior Bowl practices. So if you're worried about that level of competition, he dominated the competition in Mobile as well. So this is a player that certainly is on the Patriots radar as early as 21. The other first round tackle that I think we need to talk about is Bernard Raymond from Central Michigan. Michigan, a little bit more fluid than Trevor Penning, not quite as nasty or not quite as much of a mauler as Penning is, but a very good athlete in his own right. Also checks those measurables boxes at six foot six, over 300 pounds. But what I like about Raymond over Penning is he has better body control, better leverage, better grip strength and technique to really sustain blocks and stay connected to his blocks. Penning sometimes, even though he finishes like an absolute mauler. He can fall off blocks at times and lose control of blocks late in the rep, not Raymond. Once he grabs you, once he's onto you, he is connected throughout the rep. I think the Patriots like guys that are sticky like that, that just are difficult to get away from with their latch strains, with their leverage. And I would say Raymond certainly checks those boxes. A 25-year-old rookie, that would be the one concern I'd have about him. But despite only making 18 starts in his career on the offensive line, has really picked up the position quickly and has been phenomenal technique for somebody that's so new to the position. Now let's go on to the inside. I've been on the record. I don't really like guards on in the first round for any team, I think the positional value is better later on in the draft. But you gotta talk about two guards that are plug and play options for the Patriots in the first round. Starting right here, the local kid, Boston College's Zion Johnson. Johnson is as polished as they come at this stage of this draft cycle. Just a very technically sound, savvy, aware, patient blocker, really understands where his role and his fit is in the puzzle, understands loopers, blitzers, different pressure schemes, gets his eyes in the right place, and really is a very solid, sound, fundamentally charged offensive lineman. He also tested extremely well in Indianapolis, maybe showing off some better movement skills than what I necessarily saw on tape at Boston College, but this is an offensive line coach's dream. You plug him in, 
you don't have to worry about him. Maybe for the next decade, one of those long-term starter options for the Patriots, and there's certainly something to be said for that in the first round. The other option, Kenyon Green from Texas A&M. I see a little bit more explosiveness coming out of his stance with Kenyon Green than somebody like Zion. He's also a wider body. He's harder to get through than somebody like Zion as well. He has great upper body power and grip strength, really steers guys wherever he wants them to go, funnels double teams right he kind of escorts them over to his teammate gets him on to the uh, to the combination block and then climbs up to the second level and can combo up to the linebacker level with ease get out in space and block he also has really good positional versatility he started at four different positions in his collegiate career both guard spots both tackle spots so you can pretty much line him up anywhere you want if you're the Patriots and watch him go so Zion Johnson and Kenyon Green are your day one targets at guard looking for a little bit of a deeper sleeper in this draft go in the third round Sean Ryan from UCLA is another guy that I think is just a perfect Patriot played for Chip Kelly with the Bruins friend of Belichick Chip Kelly and he played left tackle for UCLA the Patriots love to take left tackles in college that are more built like guards and move them inside you look at guys like Joe Tooney Logan Mankins those are a few examples of college tackles that the Patriots started at left guard for a long period of time I think that Ryan could be the next in line Tooney was a third round pick Ryan projected third round pick a very very sturdy, stout build, can't go through them, great anchor, great grip strength, great ability to just powerfully control engagements. And you look at that tape last season against Oregon and Kayvon Thibodeau, he gave Thibodeau a lot of problems. And Thibodeau had a really difficult time getting the edge on Sean Ryan, despite the fact that Ryan doesn't have the best or most ideal range to play tackle. I love the idea of Ryan in the third round and moving him into left guard to take that starting spot. I think he's a day one plug and play player. Chip Kelly runs a lot of the same blocking schemes as the Patriots do, so there's translatable traits there. Check out Sean Ryan from UCLA if you want a guy a little bit deeper in this draft third round pick I would say maybe a fourth rounder depending on how the board falls so those are the fits on the offensive line for the Patriots in the 2022 NFL draft I have a lot more names on my big board than just those five guys like Daniel Falele made the board for example the 380 pound tackle from Minnesota so go ahead and check out the Patriots big board on clnsmedia.com for all your Patriots NFL draft coverage keep it right here on Patriots Press Pass. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching.